Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Ruthu Solani. I'm a gynecologic oncologist and professor of obstetrics and gynecology at UCLA. In this video, I'll be delving into mismatch repair, or MMR testing, an important aspect of cancer diagnosis and treatment. Let's start with the essentials. Normal cells have a mechanism called mismatch repair, or MMR, that ensures DNA is accurately copied without errors during natural cell growth and division. I like to think of this pathway as a molecular spell check that's designed to correct errors. However, in some cancers, the mismatch repair pathway is deficient and does not correct errors appropriately. These cancer cells have deficient mismatch repair, or simply DMMR. Now I want to review microsatellites and microsatellite instability, or MSI. Microsatellites are short, repetitive sequences of DNA that are especially sensitive to errors during DNA copying. Microsatellite instability occurs when there's a change in the number of repeated DNA bases in a microsatellite compared to what was inherited. This change is a clear sign that the MMR pathway is not functioning properly. So what causes DMMR? It can be due to sporadic mutations or an underlying inherited genetic condition, such as Lynch syndrome. It can also be due to inactivation of the mismatch repair genes, not unlike your spell check on your computer being inactivated. In the United States, the overall prevalence of MSI high and DMMR across different solid tumors has been estimated at approximately 20 and 14% respectively, with the highest prevalence observed in endometrial and colorectal cancers. The Society of Gynecologic Oncology recommends providers universally test endometrial cancer patients for DMMR by immunohistochemistry, or IHC. This technique allows us to visualize the loss of expression of proteins involved in MMR from a tissue sample taken from a patient. An abnormal IHC test shows that at least one of the MMR proteins is not detected. In contrast, normal healthy tissue exhibits normal staining, indicating that the MMR proteins are intact and detected. If IHC test results are inconclusive, molecular testing methods such as next-generation sequencing or PCR can be employed to assess MSI, which is an indication that the mismatch repair pathway is not functioning properly. Now, why is all of this important? The answer is DMMR serves as a biomarker that can impact treatment decisions. In the case of advanced or recurrent DMMR or MSI high solid tumors, treatment options may include immune checkpoint inhibitors or ICIs, such as PD-1 or PDL1 inhibitors. In conclusion, diagnostic testing for MMR and MSI can identify patients with recurrent or advanced solid tumors, including endometrial cancer, who may be more likely to respond to treatment with ICIs. This knowledge empowers us to provide tailored treatment for patients with endometrial cancer and may help improve patient outcomes. Thank you for watching.